want to spend just a couple more minutes talking about the circle of fifths and show you how to read the chart and how it lines up with what we've learned regarding the diatonic numbering system of our keys on the piano. So for the key of C, for example, we've learned that C is note 1, D is note 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, and B is 7. So what we can observe here on the circle of fifths chart is for the key of C, we have learned that C, F, and G are the three major chords for this particular key of music. And then D, E, and then A, and B are the minor chords that fall into uh, the configuration of chords for this particular key. So if C, F, and G are the main three major chords, when you're looking at the circle of fifths, what you'll notice is C, for this example, since we're in the key of C, would be the focus or the central chord that we're going to look at. The four chord would actually be to the left of the main chord for the key. So this is chord one. To the left of it would be chord four. To the right of the root chord would be chord five. And then we've talked about the relative minor. The relative minor, which is the main minor chord of the chord progression that you're going to play in most songs, is always going to be directly underneath the major chord for the key that you're playing in. So again, in the key of C, we have 1, 4, 5, and 6. 6 being the relative minor chord to the major chord of the key we're working with. So that works out here on the circle of fifths of C is 1, F is 4, G is 5. The relative minor is 6 right below the major chord for the key. That works on every element of the circle of fifths. Let's look at the key of D. So if we look at that up here on the keyboard, we'll know that D is 1, therefore G is 4, A is 5. B minor would be the relative minor. That's chord 6, as we've learned it. So again, D is 1, G is 4, A is 5, B minor is 6, the relative minor. So in the D chord, D becomes the central focus of this situation. To the left of it is chord 4, to the right of D is chord 5, and the chord just below the major chord for the key is the relative minor, which works out to be the B minor, because that's chord 6. That will work in every single key. So if you're in some weird key and you want to figure out what the other major chords are in the chord progression, including the minor, the relative minor for that key, you simply use that technique. So let's look over here on the E flat major chord. So if we're in the key of E flat major, what that means is this is chord one, chord four would be A flat major, chord five would be B flat major, and the relative minor would be C minor, is a relative minor to the E flat major chord that you're working with. Again, this works in every single position on the circle of fifths. So just wanted to point that out before we move forward.